and it has been kind to Mike Tyson. Here we go. He is a fast starter. One thing we should mention, Jimmy, before the action heats up too much, is this is a 16-foot ring, very much to Tyson's liking. Starting out, going to the body, a couple of those punches appeared low. In the Willie Carl Williams fight, we saw Jesse Ferguson go into the corner and onto the ropes, and then counter with left hooks off the ropes. Ferguson has lasted longer than have some of Tyson's 12 first round knockout victims. But now, Tyson got an uppercut through the guard. Even in the amateurs, Mike Tyson can throw great body shots. He takes what you give him. Ferguson is standing still and allowing Tyson to swing away at the ribcage. saw a few seconds ago one of the things that makes Tyson so special he threw a tremendous left hook missed with it and didn't go off balance always in position to punch but he went back into the shell first 17 fights Ferguson landed one good left one. We'll be back. Now we're told that it's back. Tyson getting through the guard again. Makes him special. Not just power, but he really gets the punch there quickly. On the body. might not be an inadvisable strategy. The opponent that just grabbed him and looked to survive, and he really didn't uh, keep his concentration. Opponent here in Ferguson, who's not giving him very many punching opportunities, if he continues to stay on the edge of the they deliver the punches. Their heads are going to be very close together. Through and Jesse Ferguson fighting defensively with Mike Tyson. of the event has got to drain something out of him. He is not breathing heavily. He looks pretty in pretty good shape at this point. You would find almost no one in the arena who believed before this began that it would go to a decision. You mentioned, of course, the relationship to Patterson alert, but there is really no direct comparison to style between the two fighters. You might be able to see here that the fighters are fighting with eight ounce Everlast thumbless gloves. The eight ounces in, in non-title fights. Punches, he's got to set himself. Once again, those are arm punches. Knockouts coming into this, his toughest test so far. A few moments ago, Jesse Ferguson looked over to referee Louis Rivera. fighting a somewhat more offensive effort. So, so far, I have to think he's shown some intelligence, Alex. Well, scheduled 10-round heavyweight fight between Mike Tyson and Jesse Ferguson. from unnecessary extracurricular activity. Five than at any previous time in the fight. Beginning to throw that left. I think he respects, respects Ferguson. in both the first and tenth rounds, and now he's in trouble here. Blood coming out from the nose of Jesse Ferguson, the right uppercut. I think that uppercut broke Ferguson's nose, Jim. He is in desperate trouble. He will not last much longer. Rivera almost stopped it there. 
Mike Tyson's known as a great finisher. Let's see how he does with Ferguson. Ferguson, gamely hanging in, having trouble covering up. Four seconds, three seconds. And Jesse Ferguson barely made it out of round five. Tyson punching from very close quarters. The, the obvious punch right here is the uppercut. He turns around. Digs right to the body and then comes straight up with the right uppercut. Tyson has a tendency to turn left handed. He turned left handed to, la to land that combination. Round. Ferguson trying to jab. Opponent when he has him hurt. Jesse Ferguson is hurt. And let's see how Mike Tyson does to take him out. Break. He's going to have to get in there and force him apart. Tyson's making a mistake by letting himself get this close to Ferguson. He must maintain a little bit of distance so that Fer he's going he's to take a point. He's disqualifying him. He disqualified Jesse Ferguson for flinching and refusing to break when ordered. He had warned him earlier in this round. Jesse Ferguson refused to break 